Specifically, uh, snowfall for the winter has been well above average along a, uh, a stripe that extends from west central Minnesota near the uh, Breckenridge uh, Wahpeton area up into north central Minnesota around the International Falls area. In some of these places, snowfall is well above average. Elsewhere, snowfall has been unremarkable. It's been pretty close to average and uh, therefore the amount of water on the landscape is somewhere close to the historical average. Not nearly enough to pull us out of drought, of course. Very little of it will actually enter the soil because the soil is frozen over. So what it's going to do is it's going to run off into the micro relief, into the wetlands, the lakes, and the rivers. That'll be a nice initial flush, but once that's done, the, the dusty soil still remains. The answer is probably not, because what's happening is that the, uh, uh, when the spring melt comes, the uh, energy used to melt the snow um, will, uh, would have other by, otherwise been used to thaw the ground. So first the snow has to leave before the, the soil uh, unfreezes. So it, we can't face a situation really where the soil will thaw and allow a significant infiltration of that snowpack. The North Central River Forecast Center, a branch of the National Weather Service that uh, produces flood outlooks, has called for a high risk of flooding in the uh, southern reaches of the Red River Valley. Ironically, we could face a situation where we would see some flooding over the top of a drought-stricken landscape, where once the flooding is over, the subsoils will remain dry and the drought impacts will reemerge. The latest outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, a branch of the National Weather Service that makes long-range projections, does call for above-normal precipitation for the eastern one-half of Minnesota for the period of March, April, May. For the western half of the state, they're talking about equal chances of above or below normal precipitation. That's relatively good news. If we don't have these uh, abundant spring rains, uh, we will not recharge our, uh, our subsoils and we'll face emerging problems with agriculture, horticulture, forestry, tourism, municipal water supplies. All these things will be impacted if the drought continues to worsen. I'm going to phrase it abundant spring rains. So the average March through May precipitation uh, for Minnesota ranges from about six to eight inches. If we get at least that much, we'll be fine for the, for the spring planting. But to replenish those desperately dry subsoils, we'll have to exceed that six to eight inch amount.